Welcome back, Zombie Mob. Well, Mainnet Z's finally launched. Our pre order tokens or the coins are available for us to go and claim and stake. So, I'm just going to show you quickly how we do that on a PC using, uh, I think I'm using Google Chrome and um, MetaMask. You're going to need to first configure MetaMask. Uh, to quickly do that, just navigate yourself to staking.mainnetz.io and up in the top right hand corner, hit the Add Net Z Mainnet button, uh, process the transaction in, in uh, MetaMask, and it'll add all the necessary details for you so that you're connected. You'll notice you've already got 0.1 net Z's in your wallet. Um, I'm assuming the devs have kindly given you that for free in order for your wallet to be able to make its first transaction. Now that we have uh, our wallets configured, uh, we can navigate over to buy.mainnetz.io, the same location you went when you first um, pledged in the uh, pre-order. Once the page opens, connect your wallet using the button in the top right hand corner and you'll be displayed with um, how many tokens you've pre-ordered and the 10% which you can claim now. You'll notice that your um, claimable number is actually higher than 10% and that's because you've already begun to receive some of your locked tokens which we're going to slowly dribble into this location over the next two years so at any point you can come and claim them and then take them through the rest of the process to stake them or sell them if that's what you wish to do just be reminded that these tokens are going to continuously be fed into this uh, page here and you'd have to manually come and claim them uh, once every now and then so let's claim our coins Next, just process the transaction in MetaMask, uh, noting how little you're paying in Mainnet Z as gas fee. Fantastic. Hit confirm, and your tokens will be put into your wallet. Now navigate back to staking.mainnetz.io, and on opening that main page you'll be presented with a list of all the operating validators so as far as I understand it right now it doesn't matter which validator you stake with um, all wallets will receive the same returns once the validators page opens uh, you'll notice it just says uh, validate details loading uh, it'll continuously say that until you hit the connect button in the top right hand corner connect your wallet to the page. So quickly check how many net Z's you've got available for staking. You can stake all of them or you can spread them over multiple validators if you wished. But enter how many you want to stake into the box and uh, hit the stake button. Process a transaction and those tokens are then staked. Now you may notice that your stake tokens don't get automatically displayed in the staking transactions box just below here because I don't think the page is dynamic right now as in that it's not updating itself like second by second or anything like that. So once you've finished doing the uh, transaction to stake the tokens, you'll see no data is found currently in the staking transactions field but we can see that the MetaMask transaction is just completed in the bottom right hand corner. But now if we go and refresh the page, then reconnect our wallet, the transaction shown there, and you can see that you're, that in this case, the 150 tokens are staked. And I'd like to just finish off by saying a, an enormous thank you to the dev team for all their hard work and uh, for making this launch as smooth as it possibly could have been and it's uh, plain sailing, well not plain sailing from here onwards, there's an awful lot of hard work to go in and uh, a lot of development needs to come into the project but I think we've got the perfect concrete foundation for building anything we like on top of this now so congratulations to the dev team congratulations to the community for staying strong all the way through this bear market to see our product finally launched out there in the wild and living and breathing by itself and uh, 
I look forward to meeting you all in person sometime next year.